guys, Paigey Cakey. I'm back. Um, this video is totally different. If you follow me on social media, you would have seen that I've been doing a big weight loss. Literally just getting rid of all the bad fat I had. And um, yeah, I'm just eating really healthy. I just wanted to share it with you guys. Let me get into it. For the last like three years, I was really insecure about my body i might not have ever expressed that but that's the whole point when you're insecure you don't like to share it with people so i literally used to wear like baggy tops all the time if you look back at my like old pictures not even old like even this year if you look back at my old pictures or videos you can see i had a little chubby belly i had a very round face i was just very like top heavy i was developing a muffin top belly that is what i was doing and um i feel like that was just down to I don't want to say letting myself go, but more just getting to a point where I didn't think I could fix it. So I just lived with it. But I wasn't happy. Like I was very insecure when I went on holidays and um, had to wear a bikini. Obviously, my friends saw me, but if it was a thing where I would always like wear like this little scarf thing around my body, take that off, quickly get in the water, quickly get out. All my pictures would always be like breast up if I had a bikini on and I'd be underwater and that was literally just because I was very like insecure and I didn't like my body shape. This year I have been working on losing weight and just changing my diet and um, finding out what works and what doesn't work. So what I wanted to do was show you guys some of the foods that I'm eating and um, what works for me. It might not work for you but I just want to uh, tell you my journey and what I've changed and how it's affected me. So basically I eat as if I'm like lactose intolerant gluten intolerant so i don't eat foods well let me not say i don't because i do have a little cheeky rice and peas and that a little cheeky mac and cheese sometimes but on a strict thing like on a weekday i don't do that unless it's like a restaurant or something so now i eat a lot of gluten-free foods um people that follow me on snapchat you guys see my cooking all the time Let me just show you some of the products that I cook with. So when I was losing weight, I cut out all the carbs. Um, some people say that's good, some people say that's bad. I say things work for different bodies, like, and I felt like when I cut out carbs, I started to lose a lot of weight, and um, it was pretty noticeable in my face. I cut out carbs for about two to three months, and um, I was just eating, like, fish and veg. Um, and when I was eating chicken, I was eating, like, chicken and veg, or, um, you know, like beans, not baked beans, but like different kinds of beans, like um, black beans. So uh, this is something that I eat a lot as well, black beans. This is really nice. Um, chickpeas, chickpea curries, um, <coughs> butter beans, um, gunga peas. There's so many different brands. I literally just buy what is available. Cannellini, uh, cannellini, cannellini, cannellini. I can never say, but you know what I mean. Calories. So I basically started eating like those sort of beans um, instead of eating like rice and pasta. Done that for two to three months. Um, now I'm eating uh, carbs, but I'm only eating like gluten-free carbs or just like a low a low calorie um, alternative of a carb. So um, I've started eating kiwa. Kiwa's really nice. So I literally use this instead of rice. Um, it reminds me of couscous. Um, another thing that I've kind of got obsessed with, and I was never a fan of cauliflower, and recently I've started eating cauliflower, so this is what I brought first. So I didn't want to start making it, and then I was like, this is not nice. So I started to buy the packet cauliflower. If you're not a fan of cauliflower, I'm telling you, once you put like a curry on top or a nice sauce on top, you can't taste the cauliflower. It tastes like a rice. It's the sort that. It tastes like rice. Now I literally just buy cauliflower and um, I've got like a dicing machine so I put the cauliflower in and just dice it and then I feel like that way is better because it's more fresh. Ah, oh, this is like my favourite. This is my favourite. So for breakfast sometimes I have gluten free waffles. I know this still has sugar in it and stuff but I don't care. Like I'm not trying to live that life where I'm go like I could die tomorrow and I didn't get to eat a waffle. You're mad. This is a cheat day. You know, so like I just have my waffles. Um, you get four in a pack, they're two pounds, which is that's rude because that's expensive. But, anyways, gluten free pancake mix. I've never used this, it's literally been sitting in the cupboard. 
I will use this. I'm telling you, I'm gonna use this and then I'll let you know. Um, so yeah, all of this is from Morrison's, by the way. Um, I stopped eating honey and I started eating this. This is the agave nectar. I think that's how you say it. It's literally, it tastes exactly like honey. Um, it's really nice. I like to put it like on my porridge, sometimes on my scrambled egg, my waffle, my pancakes. Another thing that I love, love, love is sunflower seeds. So like, instead of snacking like on a chocolate or sweets or crisps, I literally cut up some mango or some apple and I put sunflower seeds on them and it just gives it a really nice crunch. It looks like mouse food. These are whole grain rice cakes, really good for you. They're gluten free as well. This peanut butter is bland as fuck, I'm not gonna lie. This shit is so bland, there's no sugar in it. Like, there is sugar in it. Let me see. There's sugar in it, but it doesn't taste like the other peanut butters. I'm not gonna lie to you, this shit is bland. If you're gonna eat this, make sure you have a cup of water. That, I'm not saying I like everything I eat, I'm just eating it because it's better for me, you know? Um, apple cider vinegar, there's like literally so many different brands you can get. Um, so what I do with the apple cider vinegar is every morning um, when I'm making breakfast, I make a green tea and I literally get two tablespoons and just put that in and stir it. Or I will have like that little honey thing that I got and I put some lemon and two tablespoons in there. Cereal in the morning, got some fiber flakes, they're gluten free. If I do eat carbs, I will eat a whole grain um, basmati rice. It's a whole grain brown basmati rice. So basically there's like a tiny bit of pasta in there. This is a whole wheat uh, brown pasta. It's really nice. I love to make that with like prawns and stuff. I like to use extra virgin coconut oil when I cook. Sometimes I use the spray for little things like eggs. You'll be here all day with this like so it makes sense to get this. So yeah, that's like the sort of foods that I eat. On a daily, I try to eat carbs um, before 6 p.m. If I'm gonna eat carbs, and they're always gluten free, because I do feel like the gluten gives gives me bloating. And I noticed that when I used to eat carbs and bread and this and that, my belly was always like pregnant belly, 24 seven. I drink a lot of water, um, I always have a green tea. The first thing I'd done to lose weight was to look at myself in the mirror and realize what I needed to lose. I started to research loads of different diets and then I just realized I might as well just create my own. So no, I didn't do any specific diet. So I done no carbs. I did have a few cheat days like randomly in a month, like maybe twice in a month where I did like indulge in like some nice soul food, you know, like the waffles and mac and cheese. And that probably did slow down my process. Plus I drank a lot of alcohol. There was no time limit. This took literally this whole year because I was traveling and doing a lot. I reckon anyone could do this in four weeks, easy. If you can be strict on yourself and you can cut out sugary snacks, salty foods, junk food, fizzy drinks, sweet drinks, either cut out carbs or lower your carbs, I reckon you'll do really well. I'm gonna show you some before and after pictures because I feel like I've come a long way. So here's my before and after pictures. On a vibe, I don't see no signs Pull up skirt right, never go swallow my pride I ain't got a time, in a flash I From the AM to the PM, watch me in my prime Yeah, yeah, yeah All I see is sides I just roll my eyes Pull a skirt Yeah, I was very like Top heavy but I would put my underwear on and my belly would swallow my underwear so this is my first time down at this gym so I don't really know what to expect it's gonna be lit I don't even know why I'm saying it's gonna be lit it's not gonna be lit it's gonna be a lot of hard work I'm gonna be dying but that's cool because I don't mind that no I don't want to die but I don't mind dying in the gym if it means I get the results that I want so let me show you the outfit I've got the Nike t-shirt and I've got the the Nike football pants and my hair in is braids. Free, freestyle. Let's go, like, ooh, ayy. I was on the way to the gym, ayy. Trying to get the sit back in. Wait, huh. Let me talk about the time that I grew up. I used to be fat. Now I'm trying to be a slim little nigga. See my pockets on back. Yeah, but my waist on a slim little nigga. This is the gym. Football fitness. Uh, look, 
Yo, lay back with my feet up, doing 30,000 feet up. Got a new whip parked outside, and that's when I met the dealer. Man, them sound too hot. Ooh, every day I got a fever. I've been gully from day though, way before they done a creeper. Shot when I pulled up, military black top, my vest on. I don't know if it's me though, or the doors on a Tesla. I just brought some Balenciagas and Balmain, etc. Trying to be a fly girl like me, you have to go and get an star. Eating lobster at the shell. I'm about to give him hell. hell. Trying to take me for a fool, bro. Like, say I never took an L. Hell. This year's all wins. I'ma cash checks and things. I got good vibes and I sin. I'm in Berlin with a king, yeah. Uh, look. I don't dance this. I got diamonds dancing in my watch in the R6. Speeding like uh, we running from the cops. Still got class, bitch. Yeah. Run me all my money, that's the guard. Ticky talk. Uh, bust it like you bout to bust the clock on the way. Only time you see me throwing shade. By the way, I kill everything, OJ. All my days. You wanna blow the candles on my cake? Can't delay. He gon' get me wetter than the rain. Uh, That was me in a gym a few weeks ago, probably, I'm lying, probably like two months ago. Um, I was training at the Evolve Fitness Gym, which is in Leighton in London. Um, it was really cool, man. I had a really good day. Big up PT Steve. I was training with him that day. So what I usually do is I go gym five days a week on a good week, four days a week sometimes but i like to do five days a week um i train with different personal trainers as i feel like working with personal trainers definitely helps me when i'm in the gym by myself i find it so hard to like what's the word like stay motivated like i'm motivated but say like i'm doing like 10 reps or something and then i'm on the fifth one and it is so hard i'll be like all right babe, just go to eight whereas if i've got a personal trainer they'll be like nah 15 give me 15 you can do this you know what i mean so that's why i like working with personal trainers i'm still trying to work on my form so if anyone comes in this video like she's not even doing it right like chill how i started to lose a lot of weight a lot of belly fat as well was um cardio so i would do 30 minutes of cardio every day in the gym so i was on the um the cross trainer like solid 30 minutes or the steps i would literally just jog i would jog for 20 minutes straight and then i'll do a power walk in the middle and a sprint and um yeah so 30 minutes of cardio every day i done i think like the second week of being in the gym i started to see like a change in my body not dramatically i still have like small mini love handles and stuff that's what i'm struggling to get rid of so if you have any tips leave them in the comments but i do feel like i'm on the right path but um i just wanted to make this video because maybe it might help some of you and um yeah that's how i lost weight fast and got toned now i'm just um trying to get those i've got muscles kind of it's quite solid <laughs> Thank you for watching and make sure you stay tuned and follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. Pow, pow. Don't know what that was, but bye guys. <laughs>